the reaction between p-nitroaniline and sulfuric acid. Attention, p-nitroaniline is toxic when inhaled on contact with the skin or swallowed. It can cause damage of the organs and is toxic to aquatic life with long-term adverse effects. Sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide are caustic. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of these experiments. For the experiment, 2 grams of p-nitroaniline are added to a 50 ml high wall beaker and soaked with concentrated sulfuric acid. The beaker is placed on a wire gauze which is then heated with a Bunsen burner. The mixture begins to liquefy and turns black after a while. Then gas begins to evolve and the rate increases until a fast reaction takes place. The formation of the product always looks a bit different. The shape of the container also has an influence. The black column looks similar to the product from the reaction between sugar and sulfuric acid. This is why people sometimes tend to think that it's the same reaction with the only difference that it is heated with a Bunsen burner. The product has a rubber-like consistency and can be squeezed easily to form a brittle lump. While squeezing it, the smell of sulfur dioxide was noticeable, which is obviously one of the products and indicates that a part of the sulfuric acid has been reduced. Then some of the squeezed product was made wet and sodium hydroxide was added to do the test for ammonium ions. Within 10 minutes the pH paper turned blue, which is an indicator for the formation of ammonia gas and the presence of ammonium salts. The ammonium salts are the product of one of the reactions where the amine group is removed from the p-nitroaniline. It is assumed that the compound breaks down into fragments which then form an undefined mesh. This is formed up due to the formation of the different gases. Two factors seem to be necessary for a successful reaction. At first enough sulfuric acid has to be added because otherwise a part of the p-nitroaniline sublimes instead of reacting. In this example only six drops of sulfuric acid were added. The second factor is the heating. When the mixture is not heated fast enough the reaction runs quite slow and a part of the p-nitroaniline sublimes. This was the reaction between p-nitroaniline and sulfuric acid. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.